Okay, shalom, shalom, kwa mi asa ala, koho lo ima la yehoa ba si mi awa shai, wa ha shem raka ha kudash, that will honor us to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the akim and akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemiah Washai to the best of their ability. Shachanah and the Waft is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I um, wanted to touch on this article about 9 11, of course, you know, with Joe Biden. You know, he says, um, Biden marking 9 11 the anniversary says Americans must not succumb to the poisonous po politics of difference and division. So he knows that there's a division in the country. Everybody knows, though. You know, and when you go up into these comments, you know, and it's a, it's over a thousand in here. When you see certain news stories like this, man, and, and the comments be over a thousand, two thousand, it, it's nothing but Edomites, and they're going off. And you already know they cutting all into Joe Biden ass because you still got half the country think that Trump their president. And see, it's going to be a lot of um, chaos. If they don't put Trump on the ballot in, in, in some of these states, see some of these states are not uh, are talking about not putting Trump on the ballot, you know, as far as like the 2024 election, you know, and it's basically these damn Democratic states, you know what I'm saying? And these so-called white people that live in these Democratic states, because it's Republicans in all these states, you know, they're gonna be going fucking crazy, man. And 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 we tell you, Jake, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, to be on the lookout. Be on keep be circumspect. Matter of fact, let me grab this quick scripture real quick. I'll come back into this. So you have to watch Esau right now because Esau is pissed because this country is falling. And they're pissed on both sides, but it's mainly these 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 Republicans. You know what I'm saying? Them far writers. This is Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil because you're living in very wicked and evil days and see when it comes to this This politician shit this political stuff that's going on in the Americas and anywhere Let these so-called white people go out and vote for each other man Let them go because 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 you know see they're blaming The fall of the country on you because they feel like you went out and, and overwhelmingly voted um Joe Biden in here You see what I'm saying? They're looking at you so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans, especially you women Like you went and voted this clown in here so they, so they have a, 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 you know, like an anger towards you, man. And see, as things start to rile up, and like I said, with this Trump thing, they hey, they ready to get down. You see this guy down here in Florida um, that, uh, you know, ran off into the general dollar and, and, and shot up Jake in there, right? You see? So it's going to be a lot of that going on, and they ready to go. These people are ready to go, man. These people are, are, are locked and loaded. So while you, you running around out here, and you you fighting for voters rights you fighting for this you still marching for the same shit 100 years after you know uh, i mean just been marching forever heels going off the shoes man marching 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 not getting anything out of it except for a whack ass president or a whack ass mayor or a whack ass governor thinking that you're going to get something out of you going out to vote for him as soon as you vote him in you get nothing and everywhere america goes with this democracy shit it is it, it's, it's all downhill it's all downhill as soon as america goes to a country and uh yeah you know they're you're, they're treating you inhumane here's our democracy and then next thing you know your their democracy is treating you far worse than your your communist government has ever treated you <laughs> anyway let's get some of this biden marking 9 11 anniversary says americans must not succumb to the poisonous politics of difference and division the president called on the on americans to defend democracy in remarks at the alaskan military base and you jake you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans you're not fucking americans you are hebrew israelites from your respective tribe we come from abraham isaac and jacob jacob's name was changed to israel or yashallah in the hebrew tongue and we come from one of the 12 sons that he had that's our nation we're not fuck, our nation is not america a continent does not uh, uh, tell you what, what, what an ethnicity is. You're not blacks. You're not Latinos, Dominicans, Jamaicans, Haitians, all these different names that your colonizer gave you when they, when they came and raped, robbed, and pillaged in the name of their democracy and white Jesus, man. So you got to come out of this place and get, get rid of all this shit. Get rid of the whole mindset of America. You see? 
This man is 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 ready to to put some shit in your body, man, to to fucking keep up with your every move. And you talking about you an American? Even so-called white people know that um, um, America is not for them. So what are you doing? You need to be coming back to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and repenting to him, man. That's the true name of the Father, Yahweh, which means that he exists, or the um, means he exists, or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. He's not this blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy that they ran around the whole entire globe raping every, robbing every goddamn body, taking all the resources, stealing all the lands. You know, this is what the so-called white man has done with that, 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 that idolatrous image of his, man. White Jesus. Y'all better get away from that idol, man. Y'all better get away from that idol. Because the Lord is coming through to wreck on anybody, especially you, Jake. You Israelites that, that agreed to the contract of, of, of keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. Because that's who he gave it to. He gave the law, statutes, and commandments to us. He didn't give it to these other nations. Then the so-called white man. See, the Lord, he sent this man against you. He sent the enemy against us, man. Esau is your enemy. That's the biblical name for the so-called white man. He's not your friend. Everywhere this man goes throughout the earth in the name of his democracy is fucked all up. He got this whole entire globe fucked up. Whole entire globe messed up, man. They done drunk of this wine of the, uh, uh, of the virgin daughter of Babylon. Because this is Babylon the Great. Rome all over again. Anyway, it's a lock, man. It says it shouldn't, he says, it shouldn't take a national tragedy to remind us of the power of national unity. But that's how we truly honor those we lost on 9-11, by remembering what we can do together. But they're not It's a lot. Okay, yeah, it's a lot. I had to pause for a minute and um, kick it with somebody. But anyway, let's start back here. It says, President Joe Biden, speaking at a military base in Alaska, marked the 22nd anniversary of September 11th with a call for unity. And a reminder to remain vigilant in the fight to preserve democracy. See, he wants that unity back. But ain't no man. Look, man, America is through. America's through, and that's one of the um the things that um Yahweh was speaking of. That's how we know it's through. See, these scriptures are not going to return void, man. These these words that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh sent forth to the prophets, man, they're coming to pass. And, and there's nothing that the so-called white man can do about it because he has a border. He has a time limit to rule, so within his time limit to rule, uh, uh, it, it's just come, it's coming to an end. It's got to end, man. But let's get on Matthew 12 and 25, because this is the point pretty much that I wanted to get off into this. I'm going to head back to the uh, little plantation in a sec here. Um, Matthew 12 and 25, and Yahweh Shai, he knew that. It says, and Yahweh Shai, the true name of the, of the son, our king and savior that's coming to deliver us out of the hands of our enemies. Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts. And said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And that's what's going on. Let me get it in the um, New Living Translation. It says, Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and replied, Any kingdom divided by civil war is doomed. A town or family splintered by feuding will fall apart. And that's what's happening in America. And it's not coming back because it's too far gone. It's going to take some real serious, serious, you know, fighting and death for America to even have a chance like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. It's going to be fighting and death and it's still just not going to happen, man. You know, it's going to be a lot of um, um, chaos in this place, man. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, man, just give it up, man. Get the hell away from Esau. I done a lesson on that the other day. I keep reminding it. Hey, get the fuck away from Esau. Stop it, man. Because let Esau fall because he's going to fall. And be, and guess what? If you. Okay, now. You too. I'll, see, I'll talk with you later. Okay, it's a lot. But um, you get caught up in Esau's system. Your ass is going to get what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to give to this guy. Straight up. You're going to get what he's going to get. So it's best you stay away. When you dealing with, if you in the car with bank robbers, even if you didn't go into the bank, your ass is getting the business, man. This is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. See? This place is through, man. It says, Arise ye, which means get your ass up, quam, and depart. 
What is the part going into? Get away from or detach yourself from. For this is not your rest. This is not your place, man. Because it is polluted. It, it, no more polluted place on the planet than America. Because like I said again, they go throughout the earth in the name of their democracy and what happens? They, they, people become drug heads. The suicide rate goes through the roof. The women get all out of order. You know what I'm saying? The family structure gets all out of order. The food becomes contaminated. The water becomes contaminated. You know, it's just this man, everything, you know, it's just violence that uh, 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 goes through the roof, man. Every time this man comes into a country or, or, or a place with his democracy, man, it says it shall destroy you. Even with the sword destruction, that means it will ruin you completely. Let's get in the NLT right here. It says up, be gone. There is no longer this. This is no longer your land and home. Well, this has never been our land and our home, you know. So this kind of bugged out on this tran translation. But it says, "For you have filled it with sin, with sin, and ruined it completely." No, not hey. Look, Jake just is a, a product of of America, man. See, we we it, this is talking about Esau. Don't let them fool you into thinking that this is just going into everybody. This is talking about Esau Edom, the so-called white man, man. He has destroyed this entire planet in the name of his democracy. Let's see what else. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. It's like I said, I got to head back to the plantation here. I was kind of out on a little break here. He says, Biden said the central lesson of 9-11 is that there is nothing the U.S. can't accomplish when Americans defend democracy. Terrorists fail, but we must remain vigilant and said because of the rising tide of hatred and extremism and political violence It's more important that than ever that we come together around the principle of American democracy, regardless of our political backgrounds. He said we must not succumb to the poisonous um, politics of difference and division. We must never allow ourselves to be pulled apart. My petty manufactured grievances we must continue to stand united now you can forget about it cuz Biden added always remember American democracy depends not on some of us but on all of us no it's not no nah. you're getting nothing here <laughs> you're getting nothing here but anyway it goes you know it just continue to goes off into a little bit more bullshit but um you see what the deal is man hey look leave Esau alone man See, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you run your ass out here and you get the, get in these voting lines. You get to voting and you just never know, man. Esau might come through and spray that shit up. For real. Or come through there and drive through your whole shit and have y'all tumbling over damn cars, man, or trucks. You can come through there with one of them big-ass F-350s that you got to need a stepladder to get into and, and plow all through y'all asses. Hey, look, leave this man alone because it don't. you can go and vote for who you want to vote for. It's not going to make no difference. It's not going to change the prophecies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.